White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany delivers the facts on behalf of the president. However, for some in the White House briefing room, the facts are simply not enough. One America's White House correspondent, Jen Pellegrino, has more. In the first White House press briefing since Tuesday's presidential debate, members of the press apparently sought to have a debate of their own, with reporters from CNN, CBS, and even Fox reverting to childlike behavior over press secretary Kayleigh McEnany's confirmation that the president has, in fact, condemned white supremacy and related groups on multiple occasions. In August 2019, in one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. In August of 2017, racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminal and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups. I have an entire list of these quotes that I can go through with you. He has condemned white supremacy more than any president in modern history. Unsatisfied with the president's on-the-record history of condemning hate groups and white supremacy, the exchange became heated as the reporter continued to push a Democrat-backed narrative that had repeatedly been debunked. You're contriving a storyline no, and a narrative. Asking you to put he this said, to rest. I just did. I read you all of the quotes, and if you need quotes, to see them in writing... I will put them in an email. Ever focused on ratings, the left-leaning media fail to ask questions that will deliver meaningful news to the American people. Meanwhile, One America News inquired about the president's disregarded actions to improve the lives of the black community. Thanks, Dr. Kaley. The president recently unveiled his platinum plan, which is geared toward the black community, uh, promises to create 3 million new jobs, uh, $500 billion in access to capital. Uh, it's a lot of money, and, and nobody really seems to be talking about that. Can you tell us how this assistance will be administered and how the White House will follow up to track the success of the plan. Yeah, this is a very important plan um, for the black community. It's also, it also bears mentioning that in the pandemic, as we've regained jobs, roughly four in 10 jobs lost among black Americans have been gained, and it took Obama-Biden two years to do that. So we're indeed outpacing um, in job growth for the black community and the Latino community. Um, and the president has um, promised this community that he's looking to create 3 million jobs um, in the next term. Uh, he wants to create 500,000 new black-owned businesses increase access to capital in black communities, almost $500 billion. He's done that with Opportunity Zones, and it's estimated that about a million people uh, will be lifted out of poverty and given opportunity because of this, among another, of, uh, among another um, number of items, I should say, in the plan, uh, where he wants to prosecute the KKK as domestic terrorists and make lynching um, a federal crime. Again, all of that lost upon the media as they misreport, take out of context, ignore the verbatim words of this president. McEnany went on to point out that amid the concerns over how the president has condemned certain radical groups, no members of the media have bothered to dig into Joe Biden's cavalier remarks regarding domestic terrorist groups like Antifa, a group that has held cities hostage this summer and is responsible for the recent killing of a Trump supporter. Antifa is an idea, not an organization. Oh, you got Ideas do not target police officers. Ideas do not burn down buildings. Ideas do not kill innocent Americans. Organizations do. And Democrats should condemn the shameful group in the same manner President Trump continues to condemn white supremacy. Jen Pellegrino, One American News, the White House. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.